Hi, in this video, we are going to see a very interesting concept and that's the concept of finding the units place digit of a number or the product of a few numbers. So as we all know, the units place digit is the extreme rightmost digit of any particular number. So for the number 12, the rightmost digit is 2. So this is called the units place and 1 is in the tens place. For the number 257, 7 is units, 5 is tens and 2 is hundreds, right? So let us take a look at the different types of problems which can come in and out the units place digit. So can you tell me quickly what is the units place digit for 101 to the power 100? Now any number ending with 1 raised to any number will always end in 1. For example, 11 square is 121, 11 cube is 1331, 21 square is 441. So as you can see, if the last unit place is 1, then raised to any power, it always ends in 1. So 121 raised to 25 will also have the units place digit as 1. Now for 665 raised to 32, now take 5 square, 25, 5 cube is 125, 25 square is 625, 15 square is 225. So any power of a number ending with 5 ends in 5. So here the units place digit is 5. Now for this number 46 into 64 into 9 we only are concerned with the units place. So 6 into 4, 6 ones are 6, 6 twos are 12, 6 threes are 18, 6 fours are 24. So 24 units place 4, 4 into 9, 4 nines are 36. So the units place digit here is 6. So we take only the units numbers and multiply them to get the units place digit of the final product. Similarly here, when you take, you can do the long work, but the moment a zero is there in the units place, the product will always end with the unit place as zero. So whenever there's a zero in between, we automatically know that the units place digit here has to be zero. Now, what is the units place digit of one raised to one? We can see that here it is one. For one raised to two, again it is equal to 1. So if you take any power of 1 or a number ending in 1, you will quickly identify that the units place digit always ends in 1. Now for 2, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, let us see how this works out. What I'm going to write down is under the units place digit. So 2 raised to 1 ends in 2, 2 square ends in 4, 2 cube ends in 8. 2 raised to power 4 is 16, but it only ends in 6. 2 raised to power 5, 32, ends in 2. 2 raised to power 6 is 64, ends in 4. So similarly, 8, 6, 2, 4. I'm only writing the units place digit. Similarly, what will be the units place digit for the number 3? So 3 raised to power 1 ends in 3, then it ends in 9, then it ends in 7 for 27, then 81 ends in 1, then it ends in 3. 9, 7, 1, 3, 9 and so on. For 4, let us see how this works out. 4 to the power 1 ends in 4, 4 square 16 ends in 6, 4 cube 64, 4 raised to the power 4, 256. So alternately it ends in these numbers. And for power 5, as we have already seen, whatever be the power, if the base is 5, then it always ends in the number 5. So there's a very interesting property that I would like you to see. If I draw the line at the fourth power and then the eighth power and so on, you can see that 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1 and so on. Even here 4, 6, 4, 6 gets repeated. So irrespective of what the number is, it always repeats at the interval of 4. So after every four powers, the units digit is always the same. So even if it is same after for the same every digit, for after every four digits, it's the same. Even if it repeats after every two digit, it will be the same after every four digits. So the magic number to keep in mind is the number four. After every four powers, the units digit repeats itself. Let us see whether this is true for the other numbers. So here on the left hand side in the vertical column are the number themselves. And all these numbers are the powers. So if you observe carefully, then after every fourth number, there is a repetition of the cycle. 
so the power repeats itself after every four, four number that means two four for two two four eight six then again the units digit repeats as two four eight six similarly for three four five six again for seven seven nine three one seven nine three one seven nine and so on and so forth so we can use this property to identify the units digit of even large powers right so for example if somebody asks me what is 7 raised to power 35 so all i need to find out is 35 falls in which category does it fall does it follow in 1 2 3 or 4 so if i were to physically write it down then i can write the numbers like this right so on and so forth so the first power fifth power ninth power 13th power will all have the same unit place as power 1 2 6 10 and so on will have the power units place of power 2 same is for 3, 7, 11, 4, 8, 12 and so on and so forth. But listing it down like this is difficult. So what we do? We divide the power 35 by 4. Right? 4, 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32. So 32 minus 5, I get the remainder 6. That means it falls in the group of 3. So divide the power by 4. If the remainder is 1, put it in the first group. If the remainder is 2, put it in the second group. Remainder is 3, put it in the third group. Divisible divisibility by 4 will never give a remainder of 4, right? It is perfectly divisible. So if the remainder is 0, then put it in the group of 4. So as we have seen, 35 divided by 4 yields a remainder 3. So it is the same as the unit digit of 7 to the power 3. As 7 cube ends in 3, so 7 raised to 35 will also have the units place digit as 3. So what is 96 raised to 4, 32? So, we are only concerned with the units place. So, we will take this as 6 raised to 432. And 6 raised to any power always ends in 6. So, irrespective of what the power is, as the base has unit digit as 6, so the answer is always 6. 89 to the power 25. So, we are not concerned with 8. We equate it to 9 to the power 25. We take the power 24 and divide by 4. 4, 6 are 24. So, reminder is 1. So 9 to the power 25 will have the same unit place as 9 to the power 1 which is equal to 9. So the answer to this particular question is equal to 9. Okay. So what is the units place digit of the following thing? Now before you do the power divided by 4, there is one thing you must always check. Check if any of the bases ends with 5. So here we have one of the numbers ending with 5. So it will always have units place 5. And this is an even number. Power of an even number is always even. And 5 multiplied by an even number always ends with 0. So in the multiplication, if you get one number ending with 5 and you get even one number which is even, the answer of units place is always 0. So in this case, without even doing much work, we can quickly write down that the answer of the units place digit of the product of these numbers is equal to 0. Right? So from the options, obviously the answer is 0. Okay. What is the units place digit in 637 raised to 1793 into 62 raised to 317 into 39 raised to 491? So we take this as 7 raised to 1793 into 2 raised to 317 into 9 raised to 491. 1793, when we divide by 4, 4 fours are 16. 4 4s are 16, 4 8s are 32, remainder is 1. So the first one is 7 raised to power 1. 3 1 7, 3 1 7 divided by 4. 4 7s are 28, 4 9s are 36, again the remainder is 1. And 4 9 1, 4 9 1 divided by 4. 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 4 2s are 8, so again 3. So this is 9 to the power 3. So 7 to the power ends in 7, 4 to the power 1 ends in 4, 9 to the power 3 always ends in 9. So 7 4s are 28, last digit 8, 8 9s are 72. So last digit should obviously in this case be equal to 2. So now there is some mistake in the calculation which you will need to check. 1793, 1793 divided by 4 is a 16. So 16, 8s are 32, remainder 1, that's correct. 7s are 28, 8s are 72. Uh, 317 divided by 4, 
four sums are going to be a remains of this remainder one. Sorry, this is two to the power one. Oh, my mistake. The base is two, right? So two to the power one. So seven twos are fourteen. Four nines are thirty-six. It ends in six. So yes, the answer has to be six. Okay. Let's take one more example. Units place digit of this. So here. This is equivalent of eight to the power seventeen into three to the power thirty one into four to the power four nine one eight. Seventeen divided by four gives me remainder one. So eight to the power one. Thirty one divided by four gives me remainder of three. So this is three raised to power three, and four nine one eight divided by four will give me a remainder of two. So this is four two. So eight into three cube twenty seven last digit seven four square sixteen. Eight sevens are fifty six multiplied by six 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 are last digit will be equal to thirty six. So from the given options, the last digit will always be equal to six. So that's pretty much the end of finding units place digit.